help is coming for the homeless in North Carolina, though the people offering that help say more is needed. Good evening and welcome to Queen City News at 10. I'm Andy Satowski. North Carolina's homeless population is on the rise according to federal reports. In January of 2022, the state's total homeless population topped out at more than 9,300, but a housing and urban development report released this month now shows the number tops 9,700. Rowan County's homeless population is part of that total at 238. But a nonprofit there is the only local group selected to get part of a $43 million cash pool from North Carolina's Housing Finance Agency. As Queen City News Northeast Bureau Chief Sydney Heiberger tells us, it's all part of a statewide effort to combat homelessness and housing insecurity. With more than $1.6 million going to Rowan Helping Ministries, organizers are now able to build 10 homes on this empty plot of land on East Council Street to use as permanent supportive housing. With shelters, transitional housing, and permanent supportive housing, the people at Rowan Helping Ministries aim to fight homelessness in all its stages. For the past four years, they've been trying to expand those opportunities. Around 2019, when we started dreaming about it, um, we had 18 individuals on our list who qualified for permanent supportive housing. In that year, only two people were placed in permanent supportive housing, but they were not from Rowan County. They were from one of the other four counties in our region. Now with this latest round of funding from the state's housing finance agency, they're able to make that dream a reality. They plan to build 10 new permanent supportive housing units right next to their three existing ones. It, it feels good and it feels like we're doing something extraordinarily worthwhile. Permanent supportive housing offers homes to individuals who have experienced chronic homelessness. They pay partial rent while working and receiving wraparound services. Gives people who have lived on the streets for years an opportunity to have housing and services to be able to stay in this, that housing. The 10 units are a great start, but it still won't meet the region's needs. Kena Grubb says since the turnover rate on these permanent homes are so low, this area needs at least 33 more units. We want to um, prevent homelessness and then help people who are homeless get into housing. While there's no official timeline for the project, Grubb told me she hopes everything will be built out within 12 to 15 months. Reporting in Salisbury, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.